be right over. Whoa, hey, what are you looking at today? You already looked at this, didn't you? You're, oh, you're looking at the patch up on the Army uniform. Yeah, it's an anchor, it's an eagle, and it's a Tommy gun. That's actually a Naval Amphibious Warfare patch on a U.S. Army uniform. Isn't that unique? Well, there's a bit of a story on this man's uniform. First of all, his wife brought this in. They live in Cicero, Illinois. And uh, he's passed away about 15 years ago. And of course, she heard about the museum. He was 15 years old when they made the Normandy landings. He was in the Navy. And he was aboard uh, one of the ships that were helping load troops onto the uh, amphibious landing boats. And uh, so that's his combat patch, a naval amphibious warfare uh, patch that he earned for that time period. But he was 15 and they figured it out and they found out he was 15. So what they did is they booted him out of the Navy until he was old enough he can come back. Well, he did come back at 17. Uh, according to his wife, his parents then signed for him to get in the Army. That's what he did. He went into the Army now. That's right. So first he was in the Navy. Yeah, then he went into the Army. So he retired from the Army. That's why he's in this section here, the Vietnam section. He retired in the mid-60s. Uh, he did not go to Vietnam, but he served from World War II all the way up into Vietnam. He was also in Korea, so he's got some decorations in there from the Korean War. But that's his naval, and that's very how unique this is, Naval Amphibious Warfare Patch. That's his combat patch. What a combat patch is in the Army. So you've probably seen a lot of soldiers on the right shoulder wearing patches, on their dress uniforms and on their, on their camouflage uniform. Not the American flag, we're talking about unit patches. So, no, I was in the Army, so I'm just telling you what I was taught, or I was told by the guys, soldiers in the Army. On the right side is the patch they served in a combat zone with. And so that's where they would wear their combat patch on their right shoulder. And that's why that's on his right shoulder. So. He made a landing, or he was involved with the Normandy landings uh, during World War II. He earned that patch, and the U.S. Army allowed him to wear that as his combat shoulder patch. Wasn't that something so unique? Can you imagine going through your 20-year-plus uh, career and having that? Boy, you talk about a conversation piece at the E-Club. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so that's the Naval Amphibious Warfare, Naval Amphibious Combat Patch. Uh, Naval Amphibious Unit Combat Patch. You uh, can always Google that, look that up for the proper title of that. Matter of fact, one of these days, I want to show you our books. I know you don't have the time now. I, I know. Uh, I want to show you our books, and we places in here you could pull that out. But, um, you know, of course, now we have Google. You can do it immediately. So, yeah, it's something, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I passed away about 15 years ago. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to look at? All right. Okay, we'll see. Well, thanks for stopping by. Oh, you're just going to go on down the line here. There's, I know there's always something to look at. And there's always new items coming in. And uh, how did you come in today? Oh, you did make an appointment. You called. Okay. Yeah, you called. The two names were on the card. Our curator, Gary Linden, and the president of the uh, uh, museum is uh, Lorenzo Fiorentino. And they're both on that card. So, you know, I appreciate you, you making an appointment, text or calling. Yeah, or oh, you text. Okay, we'll see you. Take care. Bye-bye.